Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we'll talk about meeting notes. If you have a lot of meetings and want a system to track your meetings, you have landed on the right video. This video provides a simple workflow and template examples for meetings that you can replicate inside your own Obsidian world. It is created for a seamless meeting workflow. You can keep track of all of your meetings, including the purpose, summary, related people, and all the other important info in one place. Here is the basic idea of this Obsidian meetings node template and workflow. First, you have meeting node, and the meeting node contains a link to the attendee and link to related projects along with all the other important info about the meeting. Then, the link to attendee is a people node created with the help of people node template. And the people node will contain a link to all the previous meetings with this attendee. Similarly, the link to related projects is a project node created with the project node template and the node will contain link to all the previous meetings about this particular project. So this is the basic idea of meetings node template and workflow that I'm going to share with you today. Before we dive in, I want to talk about a newsletter that I'm starting called as Obsidian Ninja. If you want to get the best tips and tricks to improve your Obsidian experience, then you will love it. The link will be in the description. You can check it out. Now, let me take you to the demo world. I have already created all the templates and workflows. So I'll just be explaining all the things that have been done and how everything is set up in this demo world so that you can replicate these ideas inside your own board. But first, let us talk about the plugins that we'll be using. There are two plugins that we'll be using that are data view first and the second one is templater. And I believe you already are using those plugins if you are into Obsidian for some time. You will need to have a little bit of knowledge of these two plugins, data view and templater. But even if you don't have, I will provide a link to the demo world, which will be available in my Patreon so that you can get the demo world and implement the ideas on your own. Let's start with the installation process. You will need to install the plugin data view and templater. Go to come to plugin, browse, and you will have data view and templater on the top list of most downloaded plugins. You will need to install these two plugins. And once you have installed, you will need to configure the Templater plugin, go to option. First thing that you need to do is select the template folder location. For this demo world, it is templates folder. Then there is an option to trigger templater on new file creation. You will need to enable this option. You don't need to do any changes on the data view. Just install the plugin. Now let's talk about the meetings node template. Here is the meetings node template. I have enabled the source mode for meeting view. So this is, this is the properties on the top. If I go to preview mode, you will see these are the properties. The first property here is tax meeting. Then we have date. This is the date when the meeting is going to be held. And if you want to add time, you can do it as well. Go to just select on this property, go to property type and select date and time. This will have the option to select time as well. Then here we have other important info about this meeting note, starting with attendee and ending with summary. You can add more information as well. And all of these are inline metadata, which means we can use data view in order to query these properties. So the first one here is attendee, which means the people who are in this meeting, people who attend the meeting. Then we have related projects, projects related to this meeting, then topics, length of the meeting, purpose of this meeting, summary of this meeting, what is the in the summary of this meeting. These information can be valuable in order to get a quick overview of the meeting, which we will do by using data view in the latter part of this video. Then here we have some other important info, which you might want to add based on your preferences, agenda, desired outcome, discussion nodes, and action items. What are the tasks that need to be completed after this meeting? Then finally, we have this templater script, tv.file.move, which automatically moves any node created with this meeting node to the meetings folder. Here we have the folder path meetings. If you want to move it to a different folder, you just need to specify the path of that folder over here. So this is all about the meetings node template. It has a lot of inline metadata, which we'll be using in the people node and project node template. So I'll just close it and let's talk about people node template. Okay. If I go to reading mode, here we have properties alias, email, mobile, tax, birthday. These are some important info about the person that we are having meeting with. And these might be necessary or these might not be necessary as well. Based on your own needs, you can just delete these 
or add some other properties. Then we have inline metadata for related projects, which means what are the different projects this person is related to. If the person is X, what are the projects that this person is related to? You can just create a link to those projects. Then we have this section which is created with data view, previous meetings with the person. This is a template script which will replace this part with the title of the file when a new note is created with this template. Previous meetings with this person. And here is a data view query which creates a table with these three columns date, purpose, and summary. It will query notes only from the meetings folder because all of our meeting notes are inside this meetings folder. And then there is another filter we are using where the outgoing link contains a link to our people node. If the meeting node has a link to our person, then only that will show up here. So this is a data view query. With this data view query, you will be able to see all the previous meetings that you had with this person. Then here we have another section for related tasks, which is also a data view query for tasks, where there is the same filter contains outgoing link to the file title and it is sorted by descending order. If I go to preview mode, no results to show up for task query first because we are using this tp.file title over here and second because we have created no nodes and there are no tasks in this demo world. And then finally again, uh, the same template script to automatically move this node to people folder. Any node created with this template will be moved to people folder. Now let's talk about projects node template. Projects node template does not have any property. You can add property if you want to or you can add property if you have to. The first section we have here is related people which is a data view query which lists all the people that are related to this project. We had a inline metadata in our people node related projects. This inline metadata is being used over here. Data view table with the column file creation day as created column from people folder where the outgoing link contains file title. All the people node with a link to this project will be queried over here with the help of data view. Then we have another section for related meetings. This is a data view query with three columns, file creation day as created, purpose as purpose and summary as summary. Querying all the data from meetings folder where contains outgoing link to the file title. This means all the meeting nodes containing a link to this project will be seen here. Then we have this review section where you can review your project or add other important info about the project as you wish. Finally, we again have this template script to move this node to projects folder in our board. Now we have finished creating these three templates, meetings node template, people node template and project node template. Let me just rename this with people note template and here are two nodes project note and recent meeting nodes these are also data view queries you can see data view table related as related from projects it will list all the nodes from projects folder and create a table with column related as related and in the related column it will query all the people that are related with that particular project then we have recent meetings note which is also a data view query with three columns state purpose and summary which will give you a quick overview about the recent meetings that you have had and it will query all nodes from the meetings folder everywhere in this demo world you will see that there are no results for the query because we have created no nodes in our world let me create a new meeting note people note and project note and show you how it will work so Let's create a new node, templater. Source for templater in command palette. And there are a few options. If you create a new node from template, this will create a problem because we have used the tp.file.title templater function in our, our templates a lot. So if you create a people node template, uh, for example, you create a new node with any of the templates, you will have the title as untitled, right? Okay, this is a meeting node and it does not have any our template function so it's showing nothing i'll just delete it right now go to command palette search for templater create a new node from template projects node right 
you will see there is a the title is untitled and this will be automatically copied over here because we use the tp.file.title emulator function to so this is something that you need to avoid when you are creating a new node this way first create a new node and name it let's say it's project x then use the templator command open insert templator model and use this then you will have the title is project x the title will automatically be copied to the data view query as well because we had the templator function over here so this here is the related section so i'll just write person x person x let's create a new node for person x templator insert people and these are some properties i'll not do anything related projects it's project x i go to preview mode there is still nothing let's go to project x and you can see here related people for this project x a related people is person x okay so i'll create a new note meeting about x go to command palette source for templator insert template model people sorry not people will be using meetings or template here we have meetings not template the tag is meetings date you can pick a date 16 february 10 45 am here the attendee is person x then we have some related projects you can add other info over here i'll just write the summary talking about x summary talked about x just filling the information randomly so this is a meeting note created for meeting x and you can also fill up all the other information one thing that you will notice is that all of these nodes are automatically moved to the respective folders the meeting about x is a meeting note so it is moved to meeting meetings folder the person x is a people node it is moved to people folder project x is a project node it was it is moved to projects folder this is all happening because we used the templator function tp dot file that move this one in our templates so now if i go to recent meetings you will see that we recently had a meeting about x and the purpose of the meeting was talking about x and the summary is that we talked about x right and let's write an action item over here checkbox 2x this is an action item that came after this meeting if you go to the people note you will have the option to see all the previous meetings that you had this person and you will be able to see tasks related to that person if you go to project you will be able to see people related to this project and related meetings currently we are not able to see related meetings the reason why we are not able to see the related meetings over here was because we did not mention the info in this inline metadata related projects the related projects is project x now we will be able to see that over there if i go to preview you will see related meetings about this project related people to this project and then there is the review section if you go to recent meetings this is the recent recent meetings project project x related people person x so this was a simple meeting note workflow template for obsidian i hope you found this workflow useful if you want to get this meetings template workflow demo world i'll be providing the patreon link in the description so that you can get it from there along with this demo world you will find other worlds as well such as the obsidian life os world that i created at the beginning of this year this is all for this video i hope you enjoyed this video and if you're watching till now i really appreciate that meet you in the next video have a great time bye bye